Sandwiched between Mazeroski Way and the Roberto Clemente Bridge, welcome to PNC Park. Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the Tampa Bay Rays going up against the Pittsburgh Pirates. And we'll be back with the first pitch right after this. Just about set. Our starter in this one, number 70. How about a report on him, Chris? Well, this guy featuring that straight forcing fastball, but off of it throws the cutter, and really he's most effective when he's using that cutter off the forcing fastball just to miss the barrel of the bat. Not always going to see the swings and misses, but if you can somehow get weaker contact, you have a chance to collect some outs. Now, it's going to look the same until the very last second, so hitters are going to have to make a decision and hope that sometimes they're able to guess right. And he deals. Yandy Diaz, the next to hit, takes ball one. The 1 0. Slice down the right side. Here's a 1-1. Swing and a foul. Pushed off to the right. The 1-2. And downstairs. The only adjustment he needs to make is his target. If you aim at the outside corner, that slider's going to end up way off the plate. Perhaps look a little more down the middle, and you get it right where you want it. He goes down looking. Well, just couldn't pull the trigger on the fastball right there, and I don't think he was taking it, thinking it might be a called ball or anything. I just think he was flat out frozen. Did not expect that location, in my opinion. Now it's Randy Arozarena. Whips it to first. Two quick outs at the top of the first here tonight. The first baseman, Harold Ramirez. Harold Ramirez at the dish. Obviously a guy who makes good contact, hits for average, but one of the things in today's game, the value in the fact that he hits both righties and lefties. And the first pitch misses for ball one. They're so reliant on the matchups nowadays, Chris, and it's huge when you don't have to sit a guy or platoon him. When you can hit you know, both sides in terms of pitcher's arms, you're a guy that it's hard to take out of the lineup, and I think it's very important today when everything is under the microscope. 2-0. That clips the corner. Fouls one off. Two and two. Two down, nobody on. Battling here as he fouls it away. Ground ball right side. The flip to the pitcher covering. Rays retired in order. Rays held in check here. And now the Pirates will take their turn in a scoreless ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back here in Pittsburgh, today's starting pitcher, Zach Eflin. Well, the hammer is in effect, and he sets it up so nicely because of the velocity on the fastball. We'll elevate that and then break you off when he's ahead in the count. What I love about him, you get into the later innings of the ball game, and the velocity seems to go up. And here's the first baseman, Connor Joe. Here comes a the pitch. There's a strike. Why to kick the pitch? And a foul ball. Righty delivers. One, two.
in the air right field. He makes the grab, and there's one down. Batting second, the third baseman. Up next for the Pirates, number 19. That's in there. And that's strike one. And that's in there at the knees. Quickly into an 0-2 count. Both pitches were down in the zone. I think you set your sights a little bit higher because you'll have a tendency to chase if you look down in that area. Kicks and fires. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. He's really good hitting the baseball the other way, so credit the pitcher for having him out in front of that pitch. Clearly, he had him fooled. Here's Miguel and Duhar. That's a strike. Going one. One. The pitch. Foul ball. And the right hander deals. Foul ball. It stays nothing in two. Two outs. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. Nothing doing here for Pittsburgh. Scoreless after one. Back here at PNC Park, top of the second. Now it's the right fielder, Josh Lowe. Josh Lowe. The pitch. And ball one to the right fielder. One ball, no strike. Pitch is in there. And the count even at one. One way to make a guy real uncomfortable to plate is pound him inside with good velocity. They're doing that right here. The wind of the pitch. In the air to left center. Bay pulls it in on the run. That's it. The third baseman. Isaac Paredes now. Paredes. First pitch, oh, and he just good. misses. There's a strike. Time to check on our umpires. Earl Hendricks calling balls and strikes. Yeah, well-liked umpire, Boog. Pretty consistent with his zone, so if you're familiar with him and how he works, you won't get too surprised by anything. Sometimes he'll give a little bit off the corner, but nothing too crazy at all. And that one in the air center field. Bay moving under it. And there's two down. That is it. The center fielder, number 13. Manuel Margot up to the plate. Margot. First oh. offering misses the mark. Second wow. inning here, no score. Next offering misses, ball two. Slice the other way and foul. Two and one now. 
This one high in the air to left center. Bay tracks it down for the out. Rays go in order. One, two, three. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. We head to the bottom of the second at the plate for Pittsburgh. Jack Sawinski. Eflin back to work. That catches the zone for a strike. It's 0-1. Left hand hitter waits. And that misses That's off the, the outside edge. One and two. Goes down swinging for the strikeout. He swung over top of the curveball. A pretty good break on the curveball right there. Maybe not as down in the zone as he would have liked, but deceptive enough to get that swing and miss. And if you don't catch that pitch out front on the barrel, it bears in on you pretty hard. And now Henry Davis. He's a catcher by trade, but the DH here in this one. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. One down, base is empty. No, that's in. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Cuts and misses, it's a strikeout. Oh, he's really dialed in, and this offense is going to have to do something to try to break that rhythm. Maybe it's square around the bond, step out of the box, agitate him a little bit, do something that just changes what's happening right now because at this pace, it's going to be a long game, so you got to figure it out quickly. Next to hit, Leover Peguero. And that's in there for strike one. Just missed. Oh, that missed. That's a ball. That misses the zone. No Two and one. Hey, and a curve drops in for a strike. Man, this guy's got a great feel for his breaking ball today. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Pitch misses there. Three and two down. Really good take, especially with two strikes. The 3-2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Well, two out walks are never good, especially when you're trying to get back into that dugout. But he's still in a good spot. He's just got to refocus and deal with the bottom of this order. So next to the plate for Pittsburgh, Nick Gonzalez. That one's in there on one. Man, I mean, nice job just presenting it to be better than it actually was. Eflin a move to first. Paguero back in on a dive. Paguero leads off first with two down to the inning. And the 2 One ball, two strikes.
Eflin checks on first. And he's out. And they got him. That ends the inning. We'll move to the third with no score. Top half of the third inning and stepping in for the Rays, Curtis Mead. And the right hander back to work. And ball one. Pitch misses. Two balls, no strikes to count. And a good eye there. There's a strike, three and one. And the righty deals. Three one, and he couldn't come up with it. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter didn't offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. Taylor Walls next to hit for the Rays. In the air out to center. Bay gets there. He's under it. Squeezes it. One away. Rene Pinto, the next to hit. Definitely wants to stay out of the double play here. Ball on the ground in the infield. Should be an inning ending double play. In there, and it's 0-1. First pitch strike right there for him. He's going to have to do that consistently if he's going to give any length to his skipper. Rolled the short, possible two ball. Steps on the bag for one. Double play. What a twin killing to end the inning. Three up, three down for him there. We head down to the home half of inning number three. We're tied, nothing, nothing. Back here at the ballpark, ready to go for the last half of the inning. At the plate for Pittsburgh, Nick Gonzalez. Now the right-hander ready to go. Still no score. Gets the call. Strike one. Getting a little frustrated with the strike zone. Oh, and two as he waves at that one. Good late sink on that fastball. Out of the hand looks so good. And then by the time he gets in the hitting zone, hard to get the barrel to it. And one and two. That's out to center field. And that'll fall for a base hit. So the go-ahead run is on base with a knock. Up next for the Pirates, G1 Bay. On the ground to third, might be two. Fires to second for one. On to first, double play. Jason DeLay, the next pirate to hit. Pitch misses, and that is ball one. To the right side. That ends the inning. On to the fourth, still scoreless.
Yandy Diaz now let off the game with a strikeout. This guy makes great contact. One of the best in the game at putting bat on ball. He's got such quick hands, and he's gaining pitch recognition. That keeps him square to the plate. There's a good chance that his bat stays in the zone a long time, and that produces solid contact consistently. Here's your one. On the ground. That's the first out in the top of the fourth. Well, I'm impressed with this guy's internal clock. He knew he had plenty of time to take that extra step, secure his grip on the baseball, and make a strong, accurate throw. Randy or Rosarena next to hit for the Rays. That one the other way. He hauls it in two away. Now up for Tampa Bay, Harold Ramirez. 0 for 1 so far. First pitch doesn't find the zone. The Rays hitless so far in the game. That one drilled left field. Lays out, but it's off his glove. Base hit, and the inning continues. Two outs, runner at first. Next to bat will be the Rays' four-hitter, Josh Lowe. 0 for 1 with a flyout. There's the strike. And a pitch. And a strike in there. He's been very consistent with his command out there on the mound, consistently throwing at the knees. Pretty impressive when a guy can repeat his delivery like this. The 2 oh. The idea was right. Looking to locate that fastball up and in. He just missed his spot a little bit. Kicks and deals. Line drive. Sawinski makes the grab, and that will end the inning. One left for Tampa, and we are still scoreless. Stepping in, Connor Joe. The first baseman. The wind of the pitch. And that drops in for a strike. Lifted in the air right center field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. One up, one down. Now that's a tough play for the infielder ranging back into the outfield. There's part of him that's saying, hey, where are you at, outfielder? Call me off. But he stayed focused and made a nice catch right there. So next to the plate for Pittsburgh, number 19. And takes low for ball one. And that skips in the dirt. Swing and a foul pushed off to the right, and that will get out of play. And a foul ball. Bounce to third. Already two gone here in the home fourth. Miguel Andujar, the next pirate to hit. 0 for 1, he struck out swinging last time. Oh. 
Out to short walls. The throw to first, and it's a 1-2-3 inning. Bucks go down quietly, still no score. And now, Isaac Paredes. Hit it well, but flied out to the deepest part of the outfield his first time. The pitch. That misses off the outside edge. In there for a strike at the top of the zone. Now there's a pitch we haven't seen in a while. It's going to be tough on the hitters if he can mix that in whenever he wants. That one is absolutely belted. Bay going back, racing back some more. Leaps at the wall, but can't haul it in. Oh, the throw is wild. And he'll make it up to second as he advances on the throwing error. Put a really beautiful swing on that pitch right there. Just didn't quite have the combination of launch angle and exit velocity to drive it over the wall. But when you can beat a center fielder like that, you know you hit it well. Now the go-ahead runs in scoring position, so big opportunity for them to jump ahead late. Here's Manuel Margot. Glide out his first time. Ball one, no strikes. No outs, runner on second. So two balls and no strikes. Appears they're working around him with the base open, Singy. Well, you know these 2-0 counts, Boo, they're just not what they used to be, and we sound like old guys when I say that, but ultimately this is a strategic game, and you expect to see this type of approach by the pitcher in this situation. That one missed, now 3-0. and oh. in for a strike three and one and it's fouled away three two now and he walked him well, he took his chance at getting him to chase right there, but with first base open, walk not a bad thing. He set up a double play opportunity if he can induce a ground ball. Making a move at first, and on to pinch run for the Rays, Jose Siri. Go ahead, run on base, and here is Curtis Mead. Worked a walk in his first trip to the plate. there for strike one big at bat right here with an opportunity to do damage but on the flip side ground ball double play strikeout that could get the inning back under control on the mound oh and one now popped up right side and the infield fly is called Stepping in is the switch hitting shortstop, Taylor Walls. Flight out to center in his first at bat. Got the dish, looking to lift the ball in the air in this spot. Anything but the inning, inning double play, Boog. Now the 0 1. And fouled off. The 0 2. Swing and a miss struck him out. Just overmatched on that fastball right there, and it wasn't like he was set up for it by something off speed earlier in the at bat. Just came right after him with three straight, and he had no answer for it. So, first and second with two outs. Rene Pinto next to hit for the Rays. He's 0 for 1. First pitch, and that's in for a strike.
Hard hit, right side. Joe steps on the bag, third out. So the Rays strand a pair, and we're still knotted at zero. So coming into the game now on defense, Jose Siri. He'll be patrolling center field. Jack Sawinski now at the plate. Went down on strikes his first time through. The pitch. That one ran inside, almost got him. Swings and misses. And a count one and one. This guy's sink has so much drop in it, it's almost like a split finger fastball. Instead of just weak contact and balls on the ground, he gets swings and misses. One and two. And here it comes. Ball. Swings and misses struck him out. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher on the same page right now. Henry Davis will hit next. And that's in there for strike one. Boog, over 80% of his first pitches are strikes. You're doing that. He could have a really good day out there on the mound. Late swing, fouled off. Well, he missed a hittable off-speed pitch right there. Not sure exactly with the timing. Sometimes you get a backup breaking ball. You're expecting it to make its move at the end. It never does, and you're tied up. Righty delivers. Ripped on the ground a second. In plenty of time to first. Home half of the fifth inning moving along. Two quick outs. And now the shortstop, Leover Peguero. He reached out a walk his first time. Knock right field. Now back, second baseman. Only two hits allowed so far tonight, Boog, so I don't think that one will disrupt his momentum all that much. You know, he's really been on top of his game, commanding his pitches all night long. Nick Gonzalez digs in now, picked up a base hit to center his first time on. After the move to first, Aguero back on a dive. That clips the zone. That's strike one. Now move to first, and he dives back in safely. That one fouled off. The 0-2. Ball one there. And a ball in two strikes. Next offering is outside. That misses, and a full count now. 3-2, two, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitters got to stay focused on the pitch. G1 Bay waits on deck for Pittsburgh. 
Riding to the plate. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Well, that could be a big walk in this ball game. Moves the go-ahead run into scoring position. So some pressure pitches coming up in this next A-B. And now the center fielder, G1 Bay. He hit into a double play his first time up. In the air to left down the line. And an automatic double as it hops the fence. And the Pirates walk it off. So exciting to see a team walk it off. Not so much fun if you're on the other side, but what a great way to win. These guys are celebrating, and this win is well-deserved. And a 1-0 final score here in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chambi saying so long.